Agriculture to me is very important. It plays a great role in my life. I grew up in a farming community and I took up farming as a hobby, something I like. And of late, I've taken it as a, a business also. I've been farming for the last 10 years and I've been doing drought tolerant uh, crops like sorghum, green grams, palm millet, and even cassava and pigeon pea. We started realizing climate change some five years ago. We have erratic rainforest. We have prolonged drought periods. Most of the time we have a failure of crops because of the climate change. For the household to be secure, food secure, we have uh, tried some innovations. Formerly we are trying to do hand-on kind of innovations to try and conserve moisture and also to try to increase our yield. But when we started farming with ICRA, they brought innovations which have helped us even increase our yields. For example, now we are doing reaping where we do deep tillage and minimum soil disturbance. We are also doing uh, zypids and basins to conserve moisture and hold water. We are also doing uh, emphasizing on certified seeds, drought tolerant seeds. We are emphasizing on uh, early planting and we are also practicing mulching. When you do mulching, we conserve uh, the moisture and it is helping us even to get yields close to what we used to get when the rains were good. In one acre where we used to plant uh, pigeon pea and uh, green grams, we would harvest around four bags of uh, pigeon pea. But when climate uh, change came in, the yield reduced even up to one bag per acre because the rains were very erratic, they were very low, and they could not sustain the crop. Now we started practicing these innovations. The yield is coming back again. We are even harvesting five bags of green grams in one acre. You see the innovation is helping us to increase the yield. These innovations, we learn them in, uh, as farmers. And for these farmers to be, to be rich, we have formed what we call farmer groups. In our village, we have about five farmer groups. Every farmer group will have a meeting every, every week. And in that meeting, we'll discuss about the innovations. We'll do practically in a farmer's field. And also here in my farm, it has turned to be like a farmer school. We hold meetings here with farmers. We practice the innovations. Apart from being told by word of mouth, we do it practically in the field and they are able to uptake. At the same time, when they see the change which has taken place, when I use these innovations, they are convinced it's a good innovation and they start practicing. I wish my community in future will adopt, if not 100%, 90% of the innovations and my community will be food secure. We'll not run after the government for relief food. And we'll utilize the little rain we get to, for the households to be food secure. In my farm, I, in future, I wish that I would expand and reach more farmers by the innovations I'm practicing here. Inviting farmer groups, collaborating with other partners who are uh, also helping in climate uh, smart agriculture. Other partners, currently we are doing the ICRA. We believe we'll have other partners who come in, could be about soil health, about uh, a proper use of chemicals and all that. And this will help this farmer school of mine to reach more farmers and to bring current information.